Hello children. Today we're out here in this beautiful habitat in search of cicadas and we're trying to catch them barehanded without like any help with the net. Now, around here right now, I can hear some Olympic scrub cicadas, which is that constant monotonous buzzing. Uh, there's also, I can hear some Atlantic salt marsh cicadas, um, which is a species that I honestly kind of confused why it's in this habitat because we're pretty far from the salt marsh. Uh, it's the more interspersed sounding ones. Uh, um, so this is the perfect kind of habitat to be looking for cicadas. Now a lot of times they'll be up higher in the trees, but these two species of cicadas in the genus Dicereprocta like to go t uh, closer to the ground than a lot of other different species of cicadas. So let's see how many we can find. Here, this is a calling male Olympic scrub cicada, or Diceroprocta olympusa. Now, I actually don't know why it's called that species, like why they're called that, but they're a really cool species of cicada. You can tell this is easily a male because of the calling. Only the males of cicadas can do that sound. So this species, the Olympic scrub cicada, could be pretty easily identified the, uh, with that reddish and greenish, very dull coloration on the thorax, and those two spots near the bottom of each wing, each uh, forewing, so just letting them calm down real quick. They, the males tend to freeze up when you catch them, the females are more active when you catch them, so just gotta wait a little bit for him to get back, uh, stop playing dead, and then release it. So, right at the base of this tree is another Dicereprocta olympusa, and uh, you see I got her. Uh, you have to be very slow, and then go right up to it really fast. Like, I don't know if that sounds right, but go up to it slowly, and then go as fast as you can to pin it to the tree without hurting it. And then, this is a female, so the females are a lot more wiggly in your hand. They won't freeze up, and they can't do that defensive call. You could see this individual is a lot more reddish in coloration. That doesn't have to do with the male or female at all, that's just that the species is pretty variable in terms of color pattern. Alright, now let's let this gorgeous Olympic scrub cicada go back into the wild. This, at the base of another similar tree, is a different species, the Atlantic salt marsh cicada, or Dicereprocta viridifacia. But, you use the same method to catch these, as they prefer the same kind of perching spots and habitat. This is pretty clearly another female, as she is behaving just like the Olympusa did before. At an in-hand view, you could pretty easily see the ways to tell the difference between this species and the Olympic scrub cicada. The Atlantic salt marsh cicada has completely clear wings, you can see it's lacking those two black spots near the ends, and also it has a much more contrasting pale line around the front of the thorax, making it look like it has a pale collar on. All right, now we have ourselves a male Atlantic salt marsh cicada. And you could tell because this one is making the defensive noises that the Olympic scrub cicada male was also doing. You can also see that he's frozen up completely and has his legs tucked in, almost like he's playing dead. It's like the Olympic scrub cicada all over again. It only takes a little bit of time though for them to settle down in your hand and know that you're not a predator trying to harm them, just another part of their environment. Alright, I think I've gotten enough really up close views for you guys of these absolutely beautiful insects, so let's release this guy back into the wild.